Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at another problem using term by term integration. Now, the connection here from the function that we're given, inverse tangent of x to a simple function, which has a known power series representation, it's not quite as simple. Well, we're actually going to use a basic antiderivative, which gives inverse tangent of x. So let's identify that first. We're going to think of inverse tangent of x as being the antiderivative of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. And this basically guides us. We're going to integrate this function, 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. But first, we need to find a power series representation for that fraction, 1 divided by 1 plus x squared, which is going to be really simple to do, as always, with the geometric series. So let's start with that. 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. We want to rewrite that plus as minus a negative. So rewrite your denominator as 1 minus negative x squared. And now we can just make a replacement in your result for the geometric series. Everywhere we'll make the replacement with negative x squared. So we get as our power series representation for the function, which we're going to integrate term by term, the sum from 0 to infinity. And the term of that infinite series is negative x squared to the nth power. All right, you can go ahead and simplify that. Take the nth power of negative 1 and x squared, and you'll get as your power series the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n. Multiply your powers, you'll get x to the 2n. All right, now. Also make sure you're comfortable getting the interval of convergence here. Don't forget, you can also make a replacement there as well. And you'll get as your interval of convergence, negative x squared is less than 1, which you can rewrite that and simplify it to absolute value of x is less than 1, which will be equivalent to saying x is between negative 1 and 1. All right, so let's go ahead and make use of that. First, our function here, inverse tangent. This is going to be the antiderivative of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Next, replace that function that you're integrating with the power series that we just found. So we're going to integrate the power series term by term. The sum goes from 0 to infinity, and your term is negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n. And we're going to apply the power rule for antiderivatives just to the power of x. And what we'll be using is the antiderivative of x to the 2n. Just go ahead and apply your basic power rule, add 1 to the exponent. That'll give you x to the 2n plus 1. And divide by the new power. Divide by 2n plus 1. And there we go. That is most of the work for the term by term integration. Now I'm just going to, as always, switch the order of the summation and the integral just so we can see clearly what we're going to be integrating. We'll have the sum go from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, and we're just going to integrate x to the 2n. And we basically just did that work over there. That's pretty much the extent of calculus, but we're already using it a lot in our power series representations. Don't forget when you integrate, you'll get a constant. And now we can integrate this term by term, and we get as our power series, the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n 
times 1 over 2n plus 1 times x to the 2n plus 1. And that basically is most of the work for finding the power series representation for inverse tangent of x. So let's, let's go ahead and write that down before we proceed. We have inverse tangent of x equals a constant c plus the sum from 0 to infinity. I like to combine the negative 1 to the n and that uh, 1 over 2n plus 1 as a single fraction. So move that into the numerator to get negative 1 to the n divided by 2n plus 1. And now we're going to be able to solve for the value of c if we pick an appropriate value. Now make sure the values of x that you plug in are in your interval of convergence, which we have most of the interval here coming from the geometric series. This converges for values of x between negative 1 and 1. But you can actually do better. Take this power series and check both endpoints, x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. And what you'll find here, basically due to that power 2n, x to an even power is always going to be positive. So just be careful. There is that additional plus 1 in the exponent. But if you go through and plug in 1 and negative 1, you'll find that infinite series converges at both endpoints. So you can modify being strictly less than here to including both endpoints. All right, now we're going to pl plug in a value here that will be easy to evaluate inverse tangent of x at and also simplify the powers of x, 0. So if you plug in x is 0, we get inverse tangent of 0 equals c. 0 to any power is going to be 0. And if you recall your basic trig, inverse tangent of 0 is 0 because tangent of 0 equals 0. So what we get here is that c equals 0. And we get our power series representation for this function, inverse tangent of x. And that is the sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n divided by 2n plus 1 times x to the 2n plus 1. And don't forget, you also have your interval here between negative 1 and 1, and both endpoints are included. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Like and subscribe.